Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me here today with another E92 M3 on the channel. This one is quite interesting and quite unique purely because of how many miles it has done. As you've seen from the title and thumbnail, this car has done just shy of 225,000 miles and the owner, Tony, has of course owned it since new and has done all those miles himself. Uh, I thought my M3 was uh, a bit high mileage, 82,001, which I use every day, but this one completely blows this out of the water. So it's gonna be really interesting to see basically Tony's experience of the car since new, how he's done so many miles. The slightly different form of video today, but yeah, a very interesting one nonetheless. So we'll introduce you to Tony and have a bit of a walk around the car before we go out and do some more miles in this 225,000 mile E92 M3. Okay, so we're joined now with Tony, the owner of this very, very high mileage car. Thank you so much for coming down yeah, today. No problem. Um, before we go through basically the, the history with the car, I suppose, um, naturally for me, I like to gravitate towards modifications. <laughs> and I suppose the only thing you have done on the car um, is the Eventuri plenum and intake. Um, so that was fitted quite recently, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of about a, a month ago. Yeah, um, yeah. There is one interior modification. Okay. For, um, for entertainment, but we can talk okay. about talk yeah. about that. That's fine. Yeah, but yeah. This is stunning. I'd love to have this on uh, on mine one day. To be honest. Yeah. Um, you you a fan of it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what uh, what it was, I saw on YouTube the Evolve mm. channel, and as I was saying mm. to the guys, I for some reason because of the different YouTubers who go there to have their cars dealt with. Yeah. I thought they're in Wiltshire. Oh right? really? So I'm in Hemel Hempstead. Yeah. Um, yeah. I actually thought, well, let's actually Google it and essentially found they were in Luton, <laughs> you know, which is about 10 miles away. Yeah, yeah, which absolutely. Which is ridiculous. So I phoned, um, I phoned them up. They said they had all of these bits yeah, there. Um, stock, and yeah. they had a, a slot for me that afternoon. Oh, wow. And then just drove straight up there. Yeah, wow. The thing that sort of sold it to me, if you like, was the fact that the description of it being a V8 CSL. Yeah, that was amazing because everybody knows about the E46 CSL. Yeah. And how sure. it's sort of the airbox makes the sound. Yeah. But when you add the plenum, it amplifies it. You know, the original um, exhaust, I didn't want to have anything done with the exhaust. Yeah. Because for me, that'd be a bit droney. Yeah. But the sound is amazing to the extent that, you know, when I'm driving around, Mm. Uh, quite often I won't even have music. Yeah, it's listen actually to this. quite yeah, musical. <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose the question on most people's lips is how have you done this many miles in an E92 M3? Right, so in a in a previous life I was uh, in the police. Yeah. As an inspector, um, I was um, what they called an approved essential user mm. for travelling from place to place, not of course, yeah. Not um, chasing criminals, <laughs> uh, but but doing doing my job. Job. Yeah. So probably in the first four years, I probably did something like 150,000 miles. Wow. So yeah. from 2008 to 2012 kind of time. Yeah. Yeah. That's sort of how it started. I mean, I use it. Well, it's not every day now because yeah. you know we work from home and things like that. Yeah, of course. But it's you know my only car, and it was yeah. the car that I always wanted. Wow, that's brilliant. Yeah. So you obviously you ordered it new. You've had it oh, since ab new. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. So from the first of September. Yeah. 2008. Yeah. Wow, that's when astonishing. I actually, when I picked it up from the dealership, they'd actually put a nice big pink ribbon around it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, I mean, the <laughs> amount of history you've got with it, I suppose it's a bit of a timepiece. That, that was the other idea, which is a little bit more in-depth, if you like, yeah. in that um, there's sort of different ways of recognising, because I did, I did 34 years. Mm. Um, and for me, that's almost like a constant reminder of 34 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah in a course. really nice way. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And so, in, I suppose in that in that sense, it's a it's a keeper for life, isn't it? Um, that's my intention. Yeah. I mean, I won't talk about electric cars, but yeah. it's the right. Um, <laughs> it's, for me, it's the right size. Yeah. Um, a beautiful engine. I'm, I understand over at um, M World in. Um, in Munich, mm. um, they'd actually got an example where they've got the V10 engine in it. Oh, okay. Because it will fit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, don't give me any ideas. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a different uh, yeah. thing. And of course, Absolutely. you know, you could have DCT or manual, uh, yeah. but it was always going to be manual. Yeah. So this car, uh, of course, as you said, manual with uh, the cream interior as well. Yeah. And it's on the original clutch. Is it really? Yeah. On the original clutch? Yeah. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> so I suppose the maintenance side of things is obviously a, a really important side of yeah, keeping and I a car. And I suppose you know, the police would say, you know, learning to drive the police way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So maintenance is, is well, really important. Well, it's, it's, it's the service it's, book, it's, I it's, 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 an, it's a no-brainer. So it's actually at the same premises, the same BMW premises, but there's been four changes of dealer. Oh, so it's gone back to the same oh, one ev every, every time? Oh, every time. How many service roughly have you, um, have you done? I think it's about 17. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, pretty much everyone you know, in the service area has worked on it. Yeah, yeah and, I can uh, imagine. Yeah, most of the people who work there over the years wow. you know, can address me by my first name. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we've got Tony's M3, and yeah. of course we have. Yeah. Again. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, uh, these cars do have a few known issues, mainly mm. the rod bearings and the throttle actuators. Is that something you've, you've well, you've obviously um, done, I imagine? I had a, a problem five or so years where, yeah, there was engine issues, yeah. but a little bit problematic. Mm. Um, and then as they were doing all the things they were doing, they swapped the rod bearings yeah. and I think the uh, throttle actuators, actuators they yeah. did that at the same time. Yeah. Any other problems with the car or anything um, else like that? Is it? Well, not so much a, <laughs> a problem, but there was um, yeah, an occasion when warning lights uh, came on, which is never good. You, know, you get yeah. that bong sound, so you oh, know, yeah, it's the... not good. Yeah. Um, then it yeah, came gradually, you know, nicely and gracefully to a halt. Couldn't work out what it was, so with the insured warranty, mm. you know, they turn up, they sort of carted me home, took that back to the dealership. Yeah. And what it was, was that it was still on the original battery and alternator. No. So rather than muck around, they just swapped. <laughs> swapped and how long ago was that? Um, what would that be? Four years ago. And it was on the original battery yeah. alternator? Yeah. That's astonishing. I love the spec on it, actually, as well, with the black against the, the cream on the inside. Yeah. Um, or bamboo, as they Bamboo, call it. yeah, of course. Yeah. The uh, other little thing I, I, I did, because at the time, bear in mind we're talking 2008, I had an iPod. Yeah, um, right. <laughs> back in the so day. What they did, they did. This is at the dealership. They did a um, a rejig with mm. um, the USBs that are in the glove box. Yeah. I'm now on the second iPod because it's got loads of songs, probably about 800 songs that I particularly <laughs> like from that time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so through the and that was the other thing I got. Yeah, was the Harmon Carden sound with the subwoofer yeah so i like my music so um yeah it's a wonderful sound yeah and of course at the moment we're in the winter months so you've got the winter wheels and tires Michigan, yeah uh pilots yeah. alpins on there as well yeah um, i mean it's become a bit of a rout routine at one yeah right the first winter i had it it was a bad winter yeah to the extent <laughs> That, um, and it was supplied with Michelin Cup tyres, right? Oh, was it really? Yeah, so <laughs> reversed out of the drive, because clearly I always garage it, you're yeah. not going to leave it outside, and it was undrivable. Yeah. So I needed about three or four neighbours to push it back in, because <laughs> I just couldn't drive. I mean, it's in remarkable condition, really. Yeah, thanks. Considering the mileage, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's astonishing. <laughs> Absolutely astonishing. Very, very cool. But yeah. yeah, I suppose what we should do is, is get it fired up and, yeah. and okay. get some more miles I, on it. OK, as spin. they say, one careful owner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And Absolutely. never raced or rallied. <laughs> That's the other thing. Okay, so here we are, out in the car. It's rare that I'm actually in the passenger seat of an E92, <laughs> but I'm sure this is the same for yeah. you. You probably yeah. know. Have you ever sat here? Um, <laughs> once. Once. Yeah. <laughs> so the kind of miles which you've done, have you ever taken it? Abroad? Any trips abroad? Has it all all been all, in the UK? All in the UK. All in the UK. Wow. But it'd be cool to take it back to the factory one time. <laughs> yeah. Maybe when it hits 250. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Such a sweet engine, though, isn't it? Refreshing to see one in manual as well. Yeah. Mine being the DCT, it's obviously a completely different experience. But I mean, it, it drives really well. Yeah. So I don't suppose you have any more plans for the car. Just enjoy it for. Yeah, as many yeah. more miles as you yeah. can, really. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll be interested to see if there is one around with more miles than this, I'm sure. Yeah. Whilst it's probably a little bit unusual for you because it's just your normal, yeah. everyday yeah. go-to car. But yeah, I'm sure people are going to find this pretty interesting to see a car like this with so many miles. I know that I am. Um, and whilst it's a different style of video, 
than, uh, than we're used to on the channel. There's been a lot of talking, but um, yeah, I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed it nonetheless. But Tony, thank you very much for okay. coming on the channel and showing me this. A uh, remarkable example of an E92 03. Definitely some inspiration uh, oh, for my you. one. Give it a few years and I might be, uh, <laughs> I might be approaching, it. approaching 150, maybe 200. But, um, yeah. but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As I said, a slightly different video to normal. Hopefully you have enjoyed nonetheless. Um, if you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure you're subscribed for all the adventures still to come.